I just felt this was a time to find out more about Gallipoli and what it meant to me and our family and those around us. He wouldn't say any more about it um, and he was actually quite not a, a healthy man. The adventure had left him um, scarred health-wise. Gallipoli was always intrinsically a part of our lives when we were children. Uh, we lived with these grandparents for my first five years of life, so they were very special to us. Um, family was especially special to Papa Gasbridge, Ted, and um, he was devoted to us and we were equally as devoted to him. I think as a child I didn't know it was in Turkey. But I knew how important Gallipoli was and it was as well known as a place in New Zealand um, and I always knew that Uncle Joe had been there and that he'd spoken about his experiences there. Mm. Most of these men by this time were yellow with jaundice and they were so weak that they would stum if they stumbled, if their feet turned on a, on a lump or something they'd almost fall over. Nobody in authority imagined had the, at all that the casualties would be so great. Apparently nobody thought that the Turks would offer such resistance. We've got uh, quite a number of articles that are very important to us. Um, one is Voices of Gallipoli by Maurice Shadbolt, because in here is um, a whole paragraph about Joe Gasbridge. He talks about the evacuation and how they couldn't believe it because they couldn't understand withdrawing and they couldn't believe leaving their coppers behind on the peninsula. Um, and he writes that you can't imagine how that hurt us, only someone who was actually there could understand our feelings. Our grandfather went as well, that was his younger brother, Ted. So, um, so that's the, our connection, that was how we got um, the tickets in the ballot. One thing that's always, that I've always remembered is my grandfather telling me that the only time he saw his father cry was when my grandfather boarded the troop train to go away to the Second World War. And so here was someone who had been to Gallipoli, who had seen all the horrors there, who then came back to New Zealand, set themselves up to live a life, had one child, one son, and then after having seen all those horrors, had to farewell their son to go away to the Second World War. <laughs>